Hi, I'm Louise from Love Lilo and today I'm going to speak to you about Colonel Wax Leather Cream. So this is a really great product and really easy to use, so I'm going to demonstrate to you. Um, the first thing I would say is that it's not suitable for Nappa and some other leathers, but it is really, really good for uh, Darwin and MVT. Um, and it's all listed actually on the Love Lolo website, so if you're not sure, you can actually look it up on there. So it comes in this little tube, and as you can see, it's got the beeswax symbol. Uh, the main point of this product is it conditions with those beeswax oils, and also it helps as a base waterproofer. So it's really good for MVT, that's what it's designed for. So I'm going to just show you how to apply. I'm going to use my trusty Bella bag, which as you all probably know, I'm slightly obsessed by. So I'm going to just demonstrate. Um, the first thing to say though, before you apply the cream, it is worth bearing in mind, do you want to clean the bag, even if it's brand new? If you um, handle bags, the thing is that you have natural oils on your hands and those can transfer onto the bag. Um, obviously, dirt and dust can also get onto the bag. So if you have any of that there, then you're sealing it in. So sometimes it is a good idea to maybe clean it the day before or a few hours before. So just to show you, it comes with a, a little head, foam applicator head there, and you just need a small amount. And you can see that. And I'm just going to show you on the bag in a small area. So small circular motions and spread the product round. Less is more in this case, and you can go back and add more later if you think you need to. So once that's on, you can see that product's still there, and that's not worked in nearly enough. So what you need to do is then take your colonial cloth, lint-free cloth, and buff, buff, buff. So you need to really go over this, put some elbow grease into it, and you need to remove the excess, so we don't want any extra product or cream sitting on the top of the leather. What we want it to do is absorb. So that's what we're helping it to do. Um, another thing that I really love is the colonial brush. Now, before I kind of got into handbags and leather, it's not something I would have considered, um, but having had one myself, I can really see the benefit of it now. So if I just move this to the light, you can see the grain of the leather. So you want to get right down to the valley of the grain. And sometimes, even with a cloth, you can't get deep into, into the, the cracks of the leather. So go over with the brush, circular motions, and you're just removing the excess that's there and completely buffed in. And that's really going to give it the finish that you want. So then you're not going to be left with any residue or white marks and it's going to give it a really brilliant finish. So the other thing I would recommend is once you've left it to dry for a few hours or overnight, um, if you want to waterproof it again, um, I would use the 1909 Supreme Protect or the um, Carbon Pro Spray, which is also really good. Um, so then it would be completely waterproof and also remove some of the little scratches you get with MPT. And as you can see, I use this all the time. I've had this since 2012 now, so uh, it still looks really good with the wax leather cream. Uh, I just really highly recommend it. So, available from the Love Lolo website.